Chinese cultural shop by Ying Tianhua has been promoting and providing traditional Chinese products since the 1930s in Singapore. What started out at Merchant Road, then moved on to River Valley and finally ending up at Geylang, which the store remains till this day. Let's take a virtual tour with Uncle Jeff. This treasure trove for a shop is like Aladdin's Cave of Wonders. It's practically a living and breathing museum where boxes piled high in every nook and cranny could reveal more interesting items from his past. Uncle Jeff not only continues the artisanal craftsmanship of painstakingly making red banners or ang tai for Lunar New Year, restoring embroidery on altar cloths, he also still supplies Chinese cultural products, including musical instruments, opera props, costumes and weapons. And it's also shared that he's the only shop carrying dialect musical instruments. Because, you know, I think even like, like tourists would be so, in, so interested to visit your shop in terms of, you know, learning uh, all about the culture. Um, yeah, yeah. Like, uh -huh. because you, you can't find something like this anymore in Singapore. I think, you know, you're the only one and, and that has everything condensed under one roof. You know, you've got yeah, all this history I, I, I and it's, it's yes, impossible yes, yes. to find something. Even museums will not be as, uh, as condensed as yours, what you have at the moment. <laughs> yeah, um, so, sometimes the museum, they have like certain theme, you know, exhibitions. Yeah. Uh, and then they did approach me to borrow some items. I just, so I just let into them. Yeah, yeah. you know, uh, I, items uh, not, not necessary to be my, my, my shop's product. Sometimes my family documents. Like the 1984 TV series The Awakening or Wu Suo Nanyang, it's the exodus of Chinese immigrants arriving by boat in search of a better life in Southeast Asia. Many of them also escaped due to chaos and wars in China during the first half of the 20th century. Many arrive in Singapore enduring an arduous journey at sea. A few might never find their sea legs. Jeffrey's grandfather, Mr. Eng Tianghuat, arrived in Singapore like many before him from Shantou in China's Chaozhou province in 1936 and started a tailoring business around 1937. A well-respected figure in the community, he was an active community member in several clan associations who many Diuju people sought help from. So, so certain, certain thing, um, I have this... Uh, this is a treasure chest. Oh wow! And then they come to my place to 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 understand the family history. Mm, so mm. besides uh, understanding my ancestors, mm. and then um, like like this this booklet here. Actually, mm. this is uh, my my grandfather uh, passes uh, like passports and uh, visas and all that. Uh, oh. I'm not sure whether you can see on the screen. It's, yeah, uh, I can it's, see. Yeah. It's written there. Um, uh, straight settlement. Oh no, I can't it's see. Like it's too dark. I can't see. Yeah, too dark. Oh, and then, uh, I can make, vaguely make it out, but it's very dark. Yeah. Yes. yes. Oh wow! And then, uh, this is his past. Yes. Uh, I think he was like. Oh yes, yeah. certificate 30, of admission. 30. Is that what it says? Yes. 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 Oh yes. wow! Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. So Immigration officer, Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. 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 Oh wow! So, so these yeah. are the various chops. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, his photograph and. Um, and then um, before he, he, he <clears throat> arrived in Singapore, he got to get this pass oh, wow. in China under <clears throat> the, I, I think this symbol is the Kuomintang symbol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, then, uh, this, yeah. Is, yes, this is, this is the other pass. Here. Oh, wow. Yes. Yes. And all the so stamps. His photographs. Certificate yes, of registration. And all that, yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. And, and, and the, uh, the dates, uh, importantly is the dates, um, which um, I, I trace how when he arrived and how he arrived, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and this is this is another pass. Oh so, yeah, so it, uh, du, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh -huh. And then during those period, uh, oh, wow. getting in and out of uh, uh, China is mm. is quite tough, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's quite tough. Yeah. So 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 um, the the historians, the researcher, um, they visited my place is to, to, to understand the family histories and uh, mm. to, you know, because I have the complete, they, they, the one, one of them told me, say, I have the complete set of documents. This, wow. this, is, uh, this one is for, for my grandma, my, my, my uncle and my, my father to, to arrive here. To, that means uh, probably these this documents is, uh, allow them to, to come out of China. Yeah, and, and then, then arrive in Singapore, yeah, isn't it? Yes, yes, oh, yes, they're little yes, photos. Yes, yes, ah, yes. The, the photos. Uh, my great grandma. Yeah. Yes, and uh, I, I think my my 
Oh, mm. my, 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 my father is the, 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 the center one is oh, the center? Husband, my sister. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, that my, my, my father is the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, your grandmother is uh, on the right hand yes, side. Yes, that's right. Yes, and the stamps, yes. it says, Mal is it yes. Ma Malaya? Yeah, Malaya. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. So they, probably they have to pay stamp duty and all that. Yeah, yeah. So, wow. So, so, so all these, those, all these uh, documents, they are still intact. Mm. And then uh, this is another one, which is oh, well, London permit colony of Singapore. Uh, wow. Yes, yes. So so um um the other time I was looking at some documentary uh CNA documentary. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, they they were saying that uh, you know when when foreigner uh, arrive in Singapore they have to be quarantined. I'm right, not sure right. whether it's St. John Island or Pulau Tukong or somewhere. Oh, yes, and yes, yes. So I think probably, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so they have to be quarantined uh, uh, with the landing permit before they come to the mainland. Right, right, yeah. right. Yes, yes. And then uh, I, have, I have lots of other documents which is uh, related to how my, my grandfather and uh, mm. his family, uh, his journey, you know, yep, yep. Uh, uh, yeah, to, to, to Singapore. So so yeah 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 so nowadays um, um um besides customers I think I have more people visiting me to to understand yeah uh, how a family from a foreign land uh, yeah. arrived here and what happened yeah yeah yeah, yeah. the uh, journey uh, would have been arduous yes, 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 yes. <laughs> it would have been yes, a very right. uh, you know very hard and harsh conditions yes. for them to come yes. all the way yeah, by a yeah, boat. Yeah. Anyway, you know, like yes. now it's so easy. We just jump on the flight, yes. you know, air conditioning, yes, airplane. Right. But I think for them, it's, yes. they, yeah, it's almost like a Uso Nanyang type of thing, isn't yeah, it? Where they, yeah, like, they travel yeah. under, the, under the boat, under the ship, the bunker of the ship. The conditions yes. will have been yes. terrible, like yes. not enough uh -huh. water, uh -huh. no uh -huh. food, like sanitary. Uh -huh. um, even oxygen might have been, you know, yes. Yes. short. Yes, that's right. But my grandfather was lucky. Um, I I heard he 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 knows um, uh, a friend who is a sailor, mm. and then he traveled with him, and somehow rather got himself a job uh, yeah. as a cook on board a a, a, a ship. And then oh yes, ship, I read on the British ship, isn't it? A, a British uh, yes, um, ship. Yeah. Uh, yes, something like that. But the 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 and uh, he was lucky that he became the captain's. Uh, personal cook you know yeah 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 yeah, yeah. and um i was trying to trace which ship it was yeah uh and and i, I couldn't find which vessel but i understand during that period in mm. the 30s there is uh one or two ships which travel to uh santo uh to swatow oh, Singapore and mm -hmm. uh, swatow and and the ship belongs to a dutch company right so, so, yeah, most likely during this period, there's always the Anglo Dutch kind of thing. Yeah, would it have been the East yeah, India so. Company or the. Ah, correct, correct. Yes, yes. Probably the East India. That would have been the biggest Dutch. Yeah, or yeah. The Dutch. Uh, Anglo. Yes, thing. And uh, yeah, fact, yeah. until now, sometimes I still, I still do some searching. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. You know, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it'd be amazing if you can find exactly, you know, which ship he was on board and then get the yeah. main list of you know, everyone that was on that ship as well, because yes, yes, yes. I think, you know, when, when people don't question or don't trace, that's how you lose the legacy or the history yeah. of things. But for you, you know, you're digging yes. deeper and, and going backwards. It, it actually, you yes. can build a story on, yes. you know, like people leaving the exodus, coming to Singapore, yes. because, you yes. know, life is obviously much harder. They don't want to be a farmer or, you know, under communist yeah. law. Yeah. Um, for yes, them, you know, to, to do that big, you know, exodus over to Singapore would have been a, a very big sacrifice because they, yes, you know, I don't think they would even know what they were in for when they arrive in Singapore anyway. Yes. And, you know, after yeah. quarantine, not many people might have, might not survive. They might mm -hmm. have already perish either on the boat on the way to Singapore or perish, yeah. like, you know, like upon arrival quarantine, then those who release from quarantine yeah. might be a coolie or you know your uh, um, mate yeah, or yeah, uh, some right. sweet woman yes, that sort yes. of thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so so yeah um, the, the sad part was uh, 
he he arrived here uh, by tracing the dates. Uh, mm. uh, I happen to understand that he arrived here in 1935. 35, yeah. So yeah, 35. So probably he tried to look to to look out, you know, for a, a more distant place uh, mm. before the the whole family arrived. Whatever letter he wrote back to China, uh, my grandmother couldn't didn't receive. receive. Yeah, yeah, didn't receive it because there was the 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 war and the communication mm. break. Yep, yep. Down and there were yeah yeah uh, and grandma and my my uncle and my dad and my aunt uh, almost lost their life uh, during the Japanese occupation. Oh But, wow! But uh, luckily they survived and mm. then uh, 1946, uh, they were able to sail all the way here and settle down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So 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 it was an amazing story, you know. Yeah, yeah, of uh, course. And, and yes, and and, and then. then I, um, It, it makes me wonder. Do you know how long were they on board the ship to come here to Singapore? Exactly. Yes. yes. I I always I, think I, that I think how many it, weeks or it would have been I weeks, wouldn't it be? Uh, yes, I I think is. Oh, sorry, I think easily a month. You know, month the the, the ship. Mm. I I I guess so. Probably yes, yes, yes. Yeah. You see, like like today, if we we take a a ship to sail to Malacca, I know sail to Penang. Ah, uh, uh, the cruise ship. Yeah, the cruise is already like two, two, three days, something like that. Yeah, yeah, you know? I think so. Yeah, 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 yeah. so <laughs> yeah. So But that so would have been so hard. Days. Like even yes, you know yes, yes. to think of the conditions that they would have been in, and you know the kids are very small, you know that sort of thing. Yes, so even a week yes, on the yes. boat on the ship would have been horrible for them. Yes, with yes, other you know right. cramped with all the other families and kids and uh-huh. God knows who is sick and who's not and. You know, it would yeah, be very horrible. Right. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. But they made it, and uh, <laughs> yeah, grew yeah, roots yeah. in Singapore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The journey of being steadfast in the sunset industry may not have been Uncle Jeff's choice at the start, but he has come to appreciate all things from his past. He's passionate about what his grandfather and father before him has left behind for him to carry on this legacy.